Because of Jesus is never too late. You remember when Mary and Martha, brother Larry, was sick. And they wrote a letter to Jesus and said, Lord, he whom thou lovest is sick. In other words, we want you to come and just look at him and just touch him and we know he'll be all right. But the Bible said when Jesus received the notice, he didn't hurry to their aid. But he tarried four days long, two days long. And then when he decided to go to Bethany, just as he entered into the town, somebody told Martha, said, Jesus is coming. And the Bible says she went, ran to meet him. And her statement was to Jesus, Lord, if you had been here, if you just had been here, my brother had not died. And Jesus said unto her, you shall see your brother again. She said, Lord, I know I'll see him in the resurrection at the last day. But Jesus replied to her, I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. And he that liveth and believeth in me shall never die, believeth thou this. All I'm trying to say, the lateness of Jesus is never too late. Jesus replied to her that, Show me where your brother, where you laid him. And she, she said to Jesus, too late now. He been in the grave for four long days. By now, he stinketh in the grave. But Jesus said, uh, I, didn't, I didn't ask you that. I told me to show me where you laid him. And when he got there, the Bible said, when he got to the grave side, there were those who were standing around weeping and mourning. But Jesus called Lazarus by name. He said, Lazarus, Lazarus, come forth. And the Bible said he got up out of the, the grave. Amen, to go to Jesus. What all, all I'm trying to say, the lateness of Jesus is never too late. Your problem, I know you've been, we've been struggling with our problems a long time. But, 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 but it's never too late. Because he is a problem solver. If you, somebody say, if you can believe it, you can receive it. But you got to keep on trusting. Keep on believing. Though the storm cloud may rise, winds may of confusion may be blowing, but you just keep on believing. He is a prayer answering God. He is that kind of God that can and we'll answer prayer. Asking everyone to bow your heads. And whatever you want to tell God, believe that God is able to answer your prayer. He is a prayer answering God. Jesus said, asking it shall be given. Seeking you shall find. Knock and the door shall be opened. Now we got to believe that. And though our pathway may be dark. But we got to believe that he can brighten up the pathway. If you just can believe. The Bible said he that cometh to God must first of all believe that he is. What are you saying? If you don't believe that I am who I am, there's no need of coming. May we pray.